And she showed me like, yeah, she got her BTC. She got everything. So, so Fina has gotten her BTC? I think so. Oh. I, I think so. She got everything. Okay, guys. A lot of you has been asking me in my DMs, um, in the comment section of my previous video, is in me, has Fina received her warm BTC? Well, this is what we are going to be talking about mainly in this video. So how did this question come about? Why are people asking this question? Why is Finance One BTC suddenly a topic of discussion all over social media, especially in the Big Brother Niger world? So there is a clip of a podcast that was released today um, by Femi Daniels. Yes, guys. So he had an ex Big Brother Niger housemate, S All Stars housemate, and also the winner of the season six of Big Brother white money he was there as his guest so as they were talking about various things um the host of the show femi daniels asked him um i mean what do you think about the whole fina calling her multi-choice and all of that and he was like well she did what she did you know because that's the way she thought you know or she felt like um she had to do all that she did to get what she was, you know, promised as the winner of the show for the season seven. Um, yeah. So, um, in saying that he also said, Oh, I mean, it did work out for Fina because she has received everything that she was supposed to receive the trips, the whatever, and that he was with Fina a few days ago. And, um, Fina showed him some things which he thinks, these are his words. He actually thinks that Fina has received her one B to C. Now, making that statement, of course, the host was like surprised, like, ah, uh -uh. Fina has gotten her one B T C. And he was like, Yeah, he thinks so. He thinks so. And that was a clip that everybody has been hammering on since afternoon or evening. So here I am trying to think about this and trying to, you know, make it make sense in my head because I mean. We all know how Fina cried on her TikTok live. We all know how she cried on her Instagram story, Instagram live, on Twitter, you know, asking that she get her one BTC. Now, imagine our shock coming back to White Money saying what he said. Of course, people were like, why? Why would Fina do that? Now, in my head, I just sat with myself. I'm like, why would Fina collect the money and not come to make at least her fans be in the know of what is happening? First, because when she received the unique soap, she came out to tell us, oh, she received it. When she received the Pepsi, we saw the whole drama that happened. When she got the trip, she did not hide it. Even before she went on the trip, she also said, you know, she has, um, they've started processing it for her to travel and all of that. We were in the know of all of that. Now, why would she not tell us that she got one BTC? In my head, I thought, nah, I do not think she has received that money. And here are my reasons. Number one, aside from Fina coming out to say I've received the money, let's talk about the other party here. Multi-choice, quivers. Do you think that they will give Fina that money and will not come out to announce it. Let us be factual here. Do you think that multi-choice, after all the backlashes they've received, after all the insults they received in various blogs, do you think that they will hand over that one BTC to Fina without telling her you have to come out in public and tell the whole world that we have given you this money? You guys, you know, cast your mind back. Remember the whole travel better issue when Fina was like, um, they told me that this will not happen, blah, blah, blah. Travel better came out and said, we never had a meeting with you. This is it. Everybody was trying to like, you know, clean the name of their company from this whole mess, right? So imagine for a trip, that is what, you know, Travel Better came to do. Do you think that Quidus will actually release that money, but will not tell the world? Do you think that multi-choice, Big Brother Niger organizers, Africa Magic, DSTV will hand Fina that money that has been a bone in their neck for months and do it quietly, hush hush, under the table. Ha! People, let's reason now. Even if Fina does not come to announce it, I'm sure it will be one of the major requirements they will give to her before, you know, she cashes that money in her wallet. I'm very sure her, their publicist will announce it one way or the other. In fact, most of your major influencers would have been carrying the news before now. 
That's one part of it. Number two, I see a lot of people saying, oh, no wonder that is, you know, the money that she used to sew seven different outfits for her birthday, you know, do how she celebrated her birthday and all of that because she received the money. I'm like, people receive sense. It's not, it's not, I mean, witchcraft does not just mean that you carry broom and be flying at night, you know? Things like this can actually qualify you as a witch or a wizard. Have sense. Number three. Why is white money being the one to come on a podcast to talk about Fina's business? Let me give you an instance how this sounds to me. Let's say you have a friend, you know, that has been looking for children or for a child for years. Now, the friend did not come to you and say, okay, oh, I'm having a baby or whatnot, tell the world for me. One day you see your friend, you know, enter a pharmacy and get, you know, a pregnancy test kit. You see the friend and you say, oh, my friend, why are you with this pregnancy test kit? And your friend is like, oh, it's because I suspect that I might be pregnant. Now, the person did not tell you to go and tell the world because this person has been waiting for this child for years. Now, because you saw that, you now start publicizing to the world that your friend is pregnant. When your friend never gave you the permission to share that, that's basically what white money is doing. You see, people always blame podcasters. I said in my previous video, podcasters will not put knife in your neck and say you must talk. Now you go bridle your tongue by yourself and be sensible to know what to say and what not to say. Why would white money come and be, you know, talking about Fina's business? Who made you her mouthpiece? How is that your business? The only way I would have forgiven what he did to spark all this dragging on this poor girl is if when Fina was crying and people were laughing at her, if he lended his voice to her getting that money, if he was an active person in her course, then yes, I would have said, okay, fine. You know, he could have have the right to come and say it, even though I still feel he doesn't have the right to do that. But you never, I mean, almost all the winners, none of them rallied around Fina. He didn't. Do you understand? So what gave you the right to come out to say, oh, I think she has gotten the money. You are thinking she has, meaning you are not even sure. Ha! Like when I saw it and I saw all the buhaha is called on twitter people opening us people opening spaces to drag fina to say fina is this fina is that you know she used the money to go and you know buy different clothes she used the money to do this that's the money she's using to shoot movie i just had to come out and say something because i just come to the realization once again that most people on the internet are just like you know follow the leader bandwagon mentality nobody actually sits to think for themselves because even if Fina does not announce it to the world even if Fina does not announce it will multi-choice to not announce it do you actually think that a corporation that their name has been dragged in the mud will actually not come and clear their name and say you know what madam we have actually given you this money ah Anyways, my people, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead.